Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. Since it's officially the fall season, we believe it's difficult for any one of us to be in a moody mood as the season comes with its positive vibes. Of course, there is always room for being even more positive. Especially if your favorite show is about to release its 16th season, then there is no reason to be upset about anything. Instead, we should all prepare ourselves to put on our pajamas, prepare some cocoa, and wash Heartland under a cozy blanket. The show is the perfect reflection of the autumn season on TV, as it captures the vibe, coziness, and even the emotional setting that people go through during these months. Its wholesome nature is the key to this achievement, as the show enables us to relieve all the tension we have by simply presenting kind characters with relatable arcs that focus on the good side of humanity. In fact, we can claim that for the most part, the show ignores the complexity of human nature and creates a mostly dreamlike universe. But this doesn't mean that there is no sadness in the Heartland universe or there is no bad thing happening. On the contrary, the show covers a remarkable number of tragedies. And yet, the way the show handles these instances have always been quite sensible, without crossing the delicate border of being overwhelmingly depressing. For instance, in Season 15, we witness the entire town going through a struggle with a bunch of burglars whose identities are unknown. This is a very relatable problem that anyone can go through at any time. Feeling unsafe in your own home is one of the worst things that can happen to anyone and we believe Heartland captured that feeling perfectly. Especially the fact that Jack got triggered by the incident and has to face his childhood trauma through it was just immaculate storytelling. Although we found Jack relatable, we didn't witness the entire show focusing on his trauma exclusively and thus losing his wholesome nature by becoming a very sad series. It seems like season 16 will be even more bubbly as the most recent promo of the new season suggests that Heartland will be cozier than ever as the majority of our characters are going through a very happy period in their lives. Here is the official synopsis of Heartland season 16. For Amy, the new beginning means taking the blinders off and looking at her life with renewed hope and focus. She'll be challenged by the horses that need her help, but she'll also open herself up to the possibility of new friendships and maybe even romance. Just as Lou and Peter have recommitted as a couple, Katie will struggle to find her place in the world and in her family. The synopsis continues. Tim has never been happier in his marriage to Jessica, but a ghost from his past will force him to reconsider mistakes he made years ago and seek ways to atone for them. This synopsis reflects the new promo perfectly as we watch Amy training Lindy on horses while Jack and Tim are being there to support her. We also saw Lou with Katie again enjoying their time on the ranch. One person that was missing from the entire promo was Georgie, which is a shame as she was one of our favorite characters and now she has been missing for almost two seasons. We know that she goes for training in Florida, but we were hoping that she would return to the Heartland for season 16. Since it's rumored that season 16 will be the one that will mark the date on Heartland recovering from Ty's death, we were confident that this season will bring all the remaining characters back together to revive the Heartland spirit. The promo photos supported our idea as we saw Mallory and Jack joining the Heartland family in a dinner. Even though this is very much remarkable, we're doubtful if her return would be effective enough to cover up for Ty's and Georgie's missing. In fact, some fans are already raging over Heartland for still failing to replace Ty properly. One fan wrote the following words under the promo footage, Without Ty, I lost interest in Heartland. I skimmed through season 14 and didn't bother with 15. From the little I saw that the new girl is just a rehash of young Mallory. I'm tired of Lou's never-ending relationship dramas. A potential new love interest for Amy boggles my mind. I'm done. Now these words prove that the fandom doesn't believe the show can recover from Ty's death, claiming that a new love interest for Amy would worsen things even more. Well, we're not sure if we agree with this argument. In season 15, we got introduced to Finn, whose grandfather was in love with Amy's grandmother despite being besties with Jack. Thus, there is bad blood between Finn's grandfather and Jack. Still, this didn't stop Amy and Finn from getting into some flirtatious action, which was adorable. The fact that Amy was able to share her most intimate feelings about losing Ty with him was so precious. For his reason alone, we are hopeful that he might be a good love interest for her. In the promo photos, we watch Amy leaning on Finn, suggesting that they are about to be romantically involved, and there is a high chance that they are a good match. There is one concerning detail, though. Finn lives out of state and is in Alberta just to visit his grandfather. We're not sure if he would be ready to move to Alberta, since it's out of the question for Amy to leave Heartland. What are your thoughts about Heartland? Do you think Amy needs a new love interest? Or do you think there is no way Ty can be replaceable on the show? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.